Okay, this is the entrance to La Rosa, uh, my favourite hotel non-stop. Love the Alice dress here. And I'm going to just take you up the stairs. There are so many things that you can actually spend time looking at. You know, ukuleles, um, a seagull there, lots of um, things, <laughs> you know, sort of. Uh, this amazing typewriter and we got a Christmas tree here and I love the abracadabra uh, pennant and there is a swan there and we'll go in the tea room later on and um, we'll go up the stairs and see what we can actually see um, ships and pictures and lots and lots of things and a bird in a cage the various rooms we got La Rosa there with the Swan Knocker Stofia where I'm staying uh, Little Red and Saloon And we go further up. Lots of please wear your mask and a rabbit hair. All these rooms can be seen. Lewis, which is after Lewis Carroll, Sacre Coeur, Caravan, and Arabesque. I don't know if I've been there. And this amazing. <laughs> Egyptian head and we're at the top here lots of anatomical things and that is to the crow's nest which is a suite of three rooms so this is the stairs in um, La Rosa and that's two minutes on there just going up the stairs. Okay this is the tea room in La Rosa we're just gonna have a quick look round and we have table for eight people and some a dresser and a strange child here and yeah you can see me in the mirror I don't care about that. A lovely little theatre and ship and a great painting an amazing teapot and cabinet and you know so like a 78 RPM record and then some strange dolls in there and what the hell is that but I don't know I just love all these little things Lewis Carroll the fireplace some angels uh, there is a piano in the corner, but we have our Christmas tree with our vam vampire and owl and badger and robin and what else? And a cabinet with a spiritual board in, so or a Ouija board as we know it. Um, you can see the abbey across the road there and I love this high chair and this fox and yes you can see me again and a cabinet full of just <laughs> well <laughs> whatever <laughs> and our true intent is for your delight that is tr so true of La Rosa say lots of creepy dolls and you know sort of an Alice's Adventures in Wonderland in there I love this little ship made of shells and another one here and a ship in a bulb rather than a bottle that's the first time I've seen that and a puffer fish in there uh, so lots of amazing things a uh, picture of a tattooed lady, a beautiful remembrance mo montage made of 
shall we say, winged things. And tarot cards and a crystal ball. Wonderful. Okay, that's this is just the tea room. Uh, and again, if you ever get the chance to come here, you have to come. Okay, cocktail library now. And there are a couple of things there. And we hit a cabinet here, first of all. Uh, ships and things like that. Love the lamps as well. And then lots of lovely things to buy. Soap. I don't think the crocodile is and Santa is for sale. Mad Hatter tea and a Mad Hatter teapot. Hmm, that could be a possibility. Uh, another Santa. Some scale, Avery scales, and this amazing cash register. Uh, so, table service only, and you can see what's in the background. Not to worry, another Christmas tree and king and queen cushions and this lovely lady sat in on her throne um, and some amazing chairs and the bar menus down there and some stockings Lots of in impressive vinyl and things like that in here. And a record player, sorry about going here. Drackle, the complete works of Oscar Wilde. We can't actually complain about that. I love Oscar Wilde and I love her crown. It's just, well, is it crown, is it hair, whatever. A Bohemian storm brewing. And again, this is a place that you've got to visit. Want your birthday fortune told? Yep. And that's an amazing mirror. And that's about it for here. Okay. Okay, this is in Stoker's, yeah, <coughs> the room Stoker in La Rosa. Uh, some spells there and um, love these. Nevermore, Nevermore. Is that Edgar Allan Poe? Bat juice, I a frog. Anyway, the thing I love about La Rosa is that every room has lots and lots of things to find and to see. And when you actually look at the window, you can see the keys around, you know, the frame. And yes, we can look out to, to the Abbey as well, so that's to wake up to. Uh, you've got a comfy chair there, and uh, my bag is there, and my Kindle is charging. And this is lovely black uh, sort of light, and then... A picture of the abbey sorry sorry about my reflection but all these paintings are great and I didn't know Morpeth had a castle but that's a painting of it and love this you know it's like beautiful seascape and sorry for the lamp reflection there but this is my impressions of this wonderful room uh, we have a bat up there then the mirror which is incredible and some you know pictures like this uh, Polly Vaughan uh, that's a beautiful picture I think um, yes erotic there isn't nudity in it but you know it's still beautiful uh, more Abbey cover him Abbey and whatever and if we zip back um, this is above the bed uh, this display unit with who knows what's in there. Second century of creepy stories, England's greater churches, and Jack Doe. Uh, 
The Jackdaw and Raven, I think, is the book. Uh, I'll just... There. You can see that. Anyway, and I didn't think this was going to take all that long, but we've gone on to two and a half minutes. And I'll just take you into the, the bathroom as well, uh, which we got a light switch is here. And the sink, more incredible paintings, you know, black and white. And this is the bath that, you know, sort of, I can shower in and we've got mirrors and more paintings and this amazing raven almost Rorschach diagram um, but uh, you know so that's stoker for you you know and here's my bed uh, with you know it's very black uh, obviously with a Dracula connection um, and hope that's okay uh i love staying here i love that light fitting as well and uh yep yeah, this is absolutely brilliant so that <laughs> okay right, hopefully this will work out because my butter battery is very low on here but it's the um alice in wonderland uh sort of like celebratory garden uh, Alice, Alice is it, and as usual, the sun is being an absolute pig. Um, but loads of little pictures, then lots of cards, and you can see the Abbey in the direction. And homegrown Whis Whitby Christmas tree in this style by Halewood Crust, 10 and 6. And you can see the Abbey in the distance, of course. And this wonderful, uh, almost pewter bench uh, with a watch and a hat and cards. Um, and hope we can actually see something here. Yep. Alice, would you tell me, would you tell me, said Alice, a little timidly, why are you painting those roses? And there's a hedgehog there. Um, some kind of community project. And this wonderful book. Um, Charles, Charles Dudgeon was the real name of author Lewis Carroll. And we're staying in La Rosa where he stayed six times. Um, some wonderful pictures here. And we'll go to the other. Uh, benches, as we can see, um, everybody gets a prize, um, lots more cards and a dodo, and some paint and a heart, I want, and the queen of hearts I assume, you know, so, so that's the memorial garden. And I'm not sure where I'm going to actually fit this, um, but, you know, this is, you know, just, I love Whitby. Uh, yeah, there's a car park behind it, you know, so, um, and there's a rat, you know, so, uh, and that's the back of the cards. And this gets lit up at night. Um, you know, one of the many reasons we want to actually be here. Um, and I'm going to go back to La Rosa now, and uh, where Lewis Carroll stayed many times. Okay.